embedded C and embedded system interview question and answer part 5. We have published the four parts on the interview question and answer on embedded C and embedded system. Please do watch. And if you would like to join any of these social groups, you can always welcome to join. And if you're not subscribed, please do subscribe. This uh, the first question is what do you mean by enumeration? So enumeration in C. So it is a keyword. It will declare the tag and the list of named integer by using the keyword called enum. So enumeration enumeration increases the readability of the code and it is it will helpful for debugging the code if it is declared and uh, enumeration so that it is very easy to debug so that uh, also you can uh, jump back to this and uh, you can do as much you can when compared to the macros. The most important thing about the enumeration is it will follow the scope rule and the compiler automatically design the to assign the value to its member constant without depend on any other variables. So that is what the main uh, intention of the enumeration. So this is a syntax that has been given. And uh, what is the difference between global and static variables? In simple word, they have the different linkage. For example, so this is a static global variables that is second one and this is a non-static global variable. So this one is an internal linkage, this is the external linkage. So linkage means so the variable can be accessed outside of file that is called global. If it is accessed within the uh, file then that is a uh, static global variable. That is a, a static global is nothing but it will be accessed within the particular file. If it is a global means global static variables it can be accessed out of the file one file to another. So that is the main difference between the global and static global variables. Then why do we use the static variable in C? So static variable does not redeclare that means if it is declared in a function it will be it will not redeclared on each function call that means the static is able to maintain the value that is single value if its scope is local but it is live until the end of the program so for example if you have uh, 10 blocks all right so the static has been declared in the second block of course the particular uh, variable will be applicable only for the second block but it will remain uh, live for the entire program so that is what the static behaves and uh, generally it is used to count something say for example whatever the application you use say for example if you log into your gmail or uh, you know facebook or insta or whatsapp or even a bank account so you'll have the particular uh, function called count like how many users has been visiting your site or your application so that will be considered and that will be counted by the static only so that is what the uh, information being given generally it is used to count something say for example the function open bank account so which calls every time when a new account opens in the bank so it will give you the uh, number of counts has been counted so that is one good example for static variable what are the local static variables what is their use so local static variable is a variable whose lifetime doesn't end so that is what we have seen the static variable so the lifetime doesn't end with a function call where it is declared it extends the lifetime of the com of complete program all co share the same copy of the local static variable static variables can be used to count the number of times a function is called so for that also again it has been used when the previous question also more or related to the same then finally the static variables get the default value as 0 for example the following program prints 0 1 so it always starts with 0 because the default default value will be 0 what are the static functions what is the use in C the functions are global by default the static keyword before a function name make it static so there is a one thing Unlike global functions in C, access to static function is restricted to the file where they have declared. So whatever it has been declared as a static, it will be accessed only within the file. Rather, it is a global static function. Therefore, when we want to restrict access to the function, we make them static. So if you want to uh, restrict some functionality within the scope or within some file, then you have to make it as a static function. Another reason for making st function static can be reuse of the same function name in other files. Yes. Like, share and subscribe. Watch this playlist for the complete interview question and answer on embedded C. If you want to follow us on any of these social media, yes, you can join. And if you are not subscribed, please do subscribe. Catch you on the next tutorial. Until then, bye. Take care.